Hello students, welcome to Shorosas classes. Today is solving question number 12 uh, from IIT Jam 2018 question papers. So what we have, we have the following values ABC does not result in the convergence series. Which of the following values of ABC it does not be a convergent? So we have this particular series. We know that this is convergent if P greater than 1. Okay. So and divergent if this is the power here so uh, we know that uh, summation of n equal to 1 to infinity if we take uh, let me write this area first 1 by n log of n whole to the power p so p greater than 1 convergent p less than equal to 1 0 less p less 1 okay it's divergent so hence in the option C cannot be result in the convergent of the series. So C hamara yahapar nahi ho sakta. So this is our answer. Next is 13. Let A n equal to n plus 1 by n n is a natural number than the sum of the series. So it's again a series based problem. This year they have given a lot of series based questions. So if we uh, just try to solve this, uh, this is summation minus 1 whole to the power n plus 1. And this is n plus 1 plus 1 by, just replace n with n plus 1, 1 by n plus 1. And so this is only n factorial. So in the very next line we can write minus 1 whole to the power n plus 1. And this is n plus 1 by n factorial. And this is 1 by n plus 1 into n factorial. So simply summation of minus 1 whole to the power n plus 1. This is uh, 1 by n minus 1 factorial. This is 1 by n factorial. And this is 1 by n plus 1 into n factorial. So you have got a to the power minus 1. This is 1 by n to the power minus 1 and a to the power minus 1. So which is any of it? e to the power minus one okay so this value is option number d let's go to the next question let minus one whole to the power n divided by root over one plus n and let c n equal to summation of k equal to zero to n a of n minus k into a k where n is a natural number and also zero including zero so which of the following is True. So in this case, uh, we have to put some values like uh, n equal to 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 n. So what we get? A0 is 1. A1 is minus 1 by root 2. A2 is 1 by root 3. A3 is minus 1 by root 4 and so on. So like this, a n value will be 1 minus 1 by root 2. 1 by root 3 minus 1 by root 4, 1 by root 5, dot, dot, dot. So, this is the pattern. Let un, if we take 1 by n to the power half, so un plus 1 less than un for all values of n. And here, if we form the limiting structure, and for limit, n tends to infinity, un equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by n to the power half equal to 0. So here we have to do a test which is called the Leibniz test, R-E-I-B-N-I-T-Z, Leibniz test. So the series is actually uh, less than 0, so convergent series. This is sequent. So the sequence Cn is convergent. Since it has two convergent subsequences with different limit. So with different limit to convergent subsequences. Also Cn is divergent and uh, if it has a subsequence that tends to infinity. Subsequence that tends to infinity and tends to or tends to minus infinity as well. So in these two cases combined, 14b is our answer. So you want to see what is subsequence. There's a very specific structure to subsequence. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, dot, 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 infinity is a sequence. Then 2, 4, 
6, 8 is a subsequence to this. So un equal to n is a sequence. The un equal to 2n is a subsequence to this. Maybe 3n, 4n, or pn, anything. Okay. Now we will do some more questions in the next video.